the ancient civilization of Zin Ajari. Pulled beneath the waves 10,000 years ago, along with its riches and secrets. Legends persist that the city's ruins have survived, attracting nautical warriors, treasure seekers, and mythical beasts alike. The intrepid explorers of Team Hearthstone return from an expedition through dangerous waters to reveal the fate of the fabled civilization. Join us as we voyage to the sunken city. Let's meet the crew of the Leviathan. Dive master and amateur welterweight cage fighting champion, Leo Robles Gonzalez. Speaks fluent Murloc. Eh, I know enough to get by. Ambassador Phelan, the financier of the expedition. Pays in cash, pays on time. Marine archeologist, Edward Goodwin. Legend level Hearthstone player who once defeated Reno Jackson in a staring contest. The secret is to just never blink. And of course, the expedition's commander, Cora Georgiou. Fearless, brilliant, modest. The team departed Irvine Harbor promptly at 0500. The expedition was underway. An illuminated debris field seemed to guide our way on the ocean floor. Through the main porthole, we could see the gilded domes come into view through the silt. Zin Ajari. But there was no time for celebration. Immediately, our expedition encountered fierce resistance. Zin Ajari seemed to be protected by the brand new minion type, the Naga. Like Spellcoiler here, most Naga are adept at weaving spells. Our ship was bombarded by their battle cry, which keeps spells rolling in hand over fist. That's a nautical term. Naga is an entirely new minion type, so we kept a weather eye for synergies. Like Serpent Wig. If you played a Naga while holding Serpent Wig, you'll get a brand new copy of Serpent Wig in your hand. It's unclear why wigs are so important in Naga culture. Further study is definitely warranted. The onslaught was too much. We were ready to go down with the ship. What? No, I wasn't. Is that what she said? She's crazy, like for real crazy. Just when all seemed lost, our crew met an unlikely ally. The Waveblade clan, sworn enemy of the Naga, came to our aid with a shot across the bow. Blade Master Okani. He's a legendary minion and the perfect counter to those spell weaving Naga. His battle cry secretly counters your opponent's next minion or their spell. Either make their minion walk the plank, or keep those pesky spellcasters down in the doldrums. That's another nautical term. Plus, Blade Master Okani is free to all players who log in right now. Thanks to my bold leadership, the expedition was safe for the moment. We pressed on to more important matters, getting paid. When the city sank, so did its riches. Now the ocean floor is littered with all kinds of plunder. To get our hands on it, we had to deploy Hearthstone's newest keyword, dredge. Tuscar Trawler is the right pirate for the job. Dredge scours the bottom three cards of your deck and then pulls one up to the surface. ka -ching. Some minions are always on the lookout for specific plunder. Like Blood Scent Vilefin. If it dredges up a Murloc, it changes its mana cost to health. ka -ching. When you're between the devil and the deep blue sea, it never hurts to have a few dredge cards at the ready. Especially if your opponent tries to use Bootstrap Sunken Ear to send your minions into the abyss. Remember, everything the citizens of Zinajari owned is now scattered across the ocean floor. So you'll find unusual yet useful artifacts everywhere. Like a Jaren Sweeper. This minion will deep six a sunken sweeper straight to the bottom of your deck. After dredging it up, Sunken Sweeper lets you add three random mechs to your hand. ka -ching. With plenty of ka -ching in the hold, the team had bigger fish to fry. We dove to 1,000 fathoms and emerged amongst a school of shimmering sunfish. 
gorgeous specimens, extremely rare at this depth. Very tasty pan fried with some sage and a little coriander. Yes, a curious species. If you're holding a holy spell, gain taunt and divine shield. Fascinating. And tasty. Although beautiful, their sudden appearance can signal the presence of predators. And we weren't disappointed. Without warning, a massive creature appeared on sonar. Snack time was over. Kolak is a colossal minion that is so huge, it's impossible to fit him on just one card. When colossal minions are summoned, they spawn their appendages. These will play off the main body in very interesting ways. For example, Kolak is immune while his hardened shell stays intact. Despite the appearance of this massive beast, I held my composure and I led the crew to safety. All hands on deck! We're, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die! We battened down the hatches and held her together. But to make matters worse, something about our very own benefactor, Ambassador Phelan, seemed to attract more of the massive beasts. Playing Ambassador Phelan will put three colossal minions on the bottom of your deck. Off the port side, we encountered an absolute behemoth. Zalag of the Abyss. Zalag spawns four stalks when he's summoned. At the end of your turn, these stalks will deal one damage to a random enemy. And then at the start of your turn, Zalag will increase the damage the stalks deal by one. Dwarfed by the colossal minions, the expedition appeared to be sunk. Fate had dealt us a bad hand, and there was only one thing left to do. Swim to safety? Grab life jackets? Go down with the ship and accept our fate but fate had other plans. Out of the blue, Sir Finley Sea Guide came to our aid, helping us to turn the tides. With the ship badly damaged, the team was forced to surface. There's still so much more to uncover in Hearthstone's latest expansion. Repairs are already underway for our next voyage. Imagine the sorts of treasures and artifacts that still lay at the bottom of the ocean floor. We're always looking for new recruits to join our team. So if you've got a thirst for adventure, enlist today and join us on our voyage to the sunken city. So we're gonna mutiny, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Wait, what? Is that a nautical term? <laughs>